Welcome to Real Survivors with me, Leslie Coors Mather. I believe there's power in hearing people's uplifting stories, and today I've invited Norma, a friend who has a very inspiring story. Come on in, Norma. Um, welcome. Hi, Leslie. Hi. So, just to kind of go over the bullet points of your story quickly, you were diagnosed um, with early breast cancer. Um, in 1995. 95. Yeah, and it was really no big deal. Treated successfully? Yeah, very much so. And I it. just never thought much about it. Okay. I it would never be a problem again. And then you would have recurring tests and everything was fine? Everything was always fine. And then in 2016, things got fun. Yes. <laughs> I started having some abdominal kind of pain. Right. You know, it would kind of random. It would come and go. I went to a couple of doctors. Hmm. They didn't seem overly concerned. Oh. And I had a couple of tests, a couple of ultrasounds, and they didn't show up anything. Okay. But then the pain increased? Uh, yeah, but it just, yeah. And what actually wasn't the pain so much, but I started putting on a lot of weight, which okay. for me, as you can look at me, I, that was That's unusual. unusual. Yeah. And so I started really getting very swollen in the abdomen. Right. And it started getting really painful. I finally went back to the doctor and immediately she took a look at me and went, uh -oh. you're going in the hospital. For testing? For tests, yeah. Okay. And so they did a lot of tests. They took off almost three liters of fluid that was oh. in my abdomen. Yeah. Wow. That's how swollen I was. Okay. And found out that I had stage three ovarian cancer. Right. And they call it the silent killer because really the symptoms are very, can be very subtle like they were with me. Okay. So I had major abdominal surgery right after that, right. and uh, they took out lots of my insides, <laughs> lots of my insides, and um, then right afterwards they started me on chemo. Okay. And so as they promised, my hair fell out yeah. after two chemo treatments, and um, you know I had quite a few side effects. It wasn't as bad as a lot of other people I know, yeah. but um, I came through it. So let me ask you, because when I look at you, and you're so gorgeous, and your hair is so beautiful, and it, but not just that, I, I just look at you and I see a real survivor. I mean, your attitude and your story and, and just how you look at life. What, what, how would you define a survivor? Do you consider yourself a real survivor? I do, you I do. do, yeah, because I know, I mean, I, I, that was a death sentence, really. Right. It could right. have been. It could, could have, have been, been, for sure. But I think my attitude and my faith really brought me through successfully. Okay. And how so? Oh, well, what for are one some thing, examples? Um, well, I just never believed I was going to die. Hmm. I just felt like I was going to get through this. And wow. I, I, I tend to be a pretty positive person yes. anyway. Yeah. Never had depression or anything like that. I had a lot of support. My church family was awesome. Okay. I got a lot of prayer. Right. My own family was great. Hmm. Um, and I was in the Bible a lot. Okay. I listened to healing scriptures. So that's your, that's your thing. That is your... That was a big deal. Right. Yeah. And also, I, because I know how important it is to have a positive attitude, um, my husband and I watched a lot of funny things on TV. Oh, okay. We did. Laughter. We watched a, a, they say laughter, laughter is, is good very medicine. Smelling, so yes. we watched Frasier and we watched oh, that's great. all kinds of really funny shows on TV. And I kept myself occupied with positive things. Positive things, yeah. laughter. I believe yeah. in laughter. I also had There's really something. great doctors. Okay. I have to say, I, you know, and, and yeah. I felt like the Lord just arranged it, put all those things together for me. Wow. And gave me a good outcome. Amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, that's very inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, very inspiring. And let me just see, okay. Um, so what I've been asking people is, if somebody were going through something, it doesn't have to be exactly your story, but something really difficult. Mm -hmm. Can you, in let's say one sentence, give some kind of nugget of advice? Well, yeah, really, because I personally, I have a very strong faith in God. Uh, I could not get through this without God. And so I, that would be my advice is trust the Lord. If you don't know him, to turn to him wow. and ask him to get you through it. And he will. And he did. He did. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So. That's an amazing story. Um, I'd love to share your story too. You can direct message me on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, I can interview you right here. Or if you don't live in my area, which is Los Angeles, you could Skype in or I could even just share your story um, remotely. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Real Survivors. I'm a survivor.